This is Trump with Trump tells the truth. Why are we not winning? Why not progress forces center the left winning? We have all the signs. We know that we're right. Blah, 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 and so on. Well, let me tell you why. We are not likable. Sometimes people have to go out their own head, wash themselves from all the, of the view, and just understand that we are often not likable. We are not the group who have fun. We don't nearly don't laugh. We are so fucking organized. We are so conceptual, being perfect, saying the perfect thing, writing in the perfect way, that we are fucking disgusting sometimes. I started to think about this more and more. During my nomination process for my political party here in Bergen, I was confronted with this segment, front of the truth. I was also presented with another podcast I have. Well, we have dirty humor. We make a fictional world. Like, call artistic, I don't know. I just call it humorous. How you people can escape. That's what we do. Escape. Some seriousness and a lot of dirty, crazy humor. We never kick down. We kick up. And we make fun of each other. That's what we do. It's called humor. But now, that is a problem. I will probably not resent my party anymore. Maybe I will not even be active in my party anymore. But I see this now as not a problem only I have. A lot of other people. A lot of people I meet when I wake at my work day, we like your politics, but there's always that little but. Because there is something disgusting with us. We are so fucking perfect. Never say this. Organize this. Organize fucking that. Today's young people are worse than my parents. And I can understand my parents. They lived up after the World War. In the 50s, 60s and 70s. I was still born in 75. They had a reason. Because they come from an old world. When I was young, in the, in the 90s, we had to loosen up a little. But again, perfect nation, everyone should be so fucking awesome, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's strange that we all have mental problems or feeling alone or anything, because we're always a fucking afraid of what to do, what to say, and what to think, and just having fun. I will not... If you think this is support by harassing people online, you don't understand the concept. Sometimes we have to loosen up. If you just try in politics to look like the most perfect being ever, the people are know that you're lying. Because those people don't exist. People who've been working on long labor, who've been working in healthcare or so many other world jobs, who have hard work, who see part of life that people only see in drama on TVs. I don't want to see a perfect human being necessarily. I want to see people who try and do a good job. Because life isn't perfection. Only thing, we always criticize people who try to put bulldogs and we always talk, we talk about natural beauty and natural this and natural that. What about natural humans? Are they not welcome anymore? Are we so afraid of laughing at the wrong point? Yeah. A laughing of this, creating some safe spaces for ourselves. I know why my party and my fellow politician don't get votes. They don't. I try to explain it to them. They don't listen. People like me are just vulgar assholes. who are saying things. Uh, <laughs> the generation of George Collins and Lenny Bruce's and so on. We cannot be liked. We have to hide away. We are all farts who don't understand. Well, to young people today, I can get it that you are into a certain age. But you over reach over the age of 20 
and you've been living outside your parents' home for a while, you should see the world a little different. Some people, also in my movement, who's past 40 and 50, have no fucking excuses to be a fucking asshole, more or less this bullshit. I know some of you are going to listen to this segment in Norwegian, by my Norwegian colleagues. I know you're not going to like it. And then now you're going to talk about it. Well, do that. But I know your falseness. And I know your power struggles. Because if you think people on the left are better than people on the right when it comes to power struggles, well, I have some fucking news for you there. I'm going to still keep on fighting for the issues I believe in, whether or not I have a party or not. But I'm not going to be treated like shit. Again, I'm going to talk back when people are fucking assholes. This was Tron with Trump the Truth. <laughs>